Is the 2023 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro model the ultimate Toyota Sequoia? Let's find out. I'm Maggie Clark, Motor City Maggie, here at the Milwaukee Auto Show, and let's get into the all-new redesigned 2023 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro model. All right, a little background about the Toyota Sequoia before we get into this TRD Pro model. The Toyota Sequoia had a full remodel for 2023. It was completely remodeled. It was designed in California, engineered in Michigan, and manufactured in San Antonio, Texas, where the Toyota Tundra is also manufactured. So you can see it has similar styling cues. Now this vehicle, I hadn't seen a redesign in a while, but now it has this big beefy front grille that we'll get into in a little bit. There are so many different ways that you can customize the Toyota Sequoia. Of course, it's available as a four x two or a four x four. It has five different trim levels, the SR5 Limited, Platinum, TRD Pro model, and the capstone. It also can seat seven or eight passengers on the inside with a bench seat or two captain's chairs. There are 11 different colors and one very cool powertrain. So what exactly is TRD? TRD stands for Toyota Racing Development. It's Toyota's in-house racing development team that has particular packages and different tuning that they put on their vehicles to make them extremely off-road capable. So the vehicles that carry the TRD Pro badge, namely the Tacoma, the Tundra, the Sequoia, and the 4Runner, those each have a TRD Pro package. Those vehicles are for extreme off-road enthusiasts, and they're actually pretty hard to get your hands on because Toyota doesn't manufacture too many of them. They usually have different shocks, different suspension, and they look really cool and rugged. Let's get into the exterior design of the TRD Pro, starting with this cool TRD skid plate. How awesome is that? I love it. And then coming up, we've got the big, beefy, strong grill and that awesome LED light bar that is only specific to the TRD Pro model and the big Toyota Heritage Grill. This is so awesome to see. This is the only Toyota Sequoia that has this. We've got full LED headlights, LED fog lights, and sequential turn signals, which are so awesome. And then over here on the hood, we have the TRD Pro badge. This is actually the only spot that says TRD Pro on the entire exterior of the vehicle. And it's cool because on the other models of the Sequoia, right here, it says iForce Max. So it's unique that we have it say TRD Pro right there. This is a really cool TRD roof rack. This is not standard on the TRD Pro. This is an added feature. And then down here we have TRD cast aluminum running boards and they do say TRD right there. It is a small step and it doesn't retract, but it is pretty cool. And then over here, I really wanna point out in the wheel wells, you have a camo design so that's really tough looking. And then check out these wheels. So we have these BBS forged aluminum TRD wheels. These are so cool with the TRD logo right there in the center. And then we've got the Falcon tires. So these are really awesome. We've got Fox shocks back there. On the back end here, we have the pop open rear window. It used to be a full glass sliding rear window it's no longer that design it is a pop open with this little button right here it pops open and then you can drop in your belongings if you need to and then lower we have the sequoia logo in this really cool blacked out badge so i do like the way that looks here's the double trd exhaust so underneath the hood is an iForce Max powertrain. What is that? Well, it means it's a hybrid, people. It's a hybrid, but you don't plug it in. This is a hybrid with a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 engine paired with an electric motor. Now this means that it's going to have 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. This will allow you to tow over 9,500 pounds. It has more horsepower, more torque, more towing capacity, and better fuel economy 
than the previous generation, which was a V8. So the TRD Pro is only available as a 4x4, averaging about 20 miles per gallon. So this is the Monroney sticker for the Toyota TRD Pro that we're looking at here. You can see that it was assembled in San Antonio, Texas, and it is in the ice cap color. And the MSRP is $76 thousand dollars plus some extra added features like that TRD roof rack I was mentioning for an extra fourteen hundred dollars and then down here we have the total MSRP after delivery processing and handling just under eighty thousand dollars so it's a pretty penny let's check out the interior okay first of all what do you think of this gorgeous red leather interior I mean this is crazy there is camo inlays in the seats and look at this there's even a gray stitch and red stitching all around but the camo is really what makes this so different I love it and of course it has TRD Pro stitched into the back of the seat there and we've got more red leather along the front of the dash and on the steering wheel and the shift knob so we also have the TRD badging all over the interior, so you're not going to forget the name of this trim level. So again, we're gonna see it on that shift knob right there. We have a TRD logo right there on the power button. This color I don't really love. I kind of feel like I would have liked that better in black. It looks a little orangey red up against this red leather, but what are you gonna do? And then it says TRD on the leather wrap steering wheel. So that is really, really cool. So take a look at the touchscreen display here. Unfortunately, we can't turn it on. They pulled the fuse here at the auto show, but it is a 14 inch touchscreen display with 14 JBL speakers. So that's easy to remember, 14 and 14. And it is so bright and easy to navigate with all of your wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, your Toyota connected services on here, and over the air Toyota updates. We've also got this cool Toyota Heritage stamp on the front of the dash there as well. And if you look up, we have this beautiful panoramic moonroof. This also does not come standard on the Toyota Sequoia, but we are seeing it on the TRD Pro model right here. It is pretty awesome, especially for your second row passengers. We've got some nice physical buttons here on the TRD Pro. You're looking at heated and cooled seats. We've got our USB there. There are actually seven USB ports that I've counted. We've got the panoramic view monitor. It's funny, I, I always say that it looks like a coffee cup right there. This is to lock your rear differential if you are on rugged terrain. And then this right here is your Qi wireless charging pad with a more vertical layout so you can easily see notifications that pop up. And right here we've got two cup holders. There are different drive modes here. There's a tow haul button. We've got the crawl control, which is like cruise control at low speeds and multi-terrain select. So you can adjust your suspension and your vehicle controls depending on the road conditions you're going through, like mud, sand, dirt, rocks, etc. Now let's look inside of this giant center console. It is huge. Oh my gosh. It also doubles as a really nice armrest. We've got I don't really like this design right here. We've got this teeny tiny little container. This is so narrow. I think it's even too narrow for a typical wallet. But if you have one of those cool smart wallets, you could probably make it work. This bin is nice for maybe your key, maybe to throw something else, uh, your cell phone if you're not using the charging pad. And then look at this giant bin. You could put so much in here. It's kind of funny, we still have the coin organizer uh, we've got two more usb ports in here and yeah i mean a nice big bin to store everything that your heart desires and then right here we've got our two high four high four low buttons and on the steering wheel we have several controls as well and to the left of the steering wheel we have more controls like turning on the trd light bar and the heated steering wheel Ooh, it is really well stocked. And then behind that steering wheel, we have another 12.3 inch fully digital gauge cluster. And right here, we have our rear view mirror, but it is 
a digital rear view camera. So when you flip this right here, you will see a live camera feed of what is behind your vehicle if you have cargo or people blocking your view. And then right up here is how you can operate your cover for your panoramic moonroof, your panoramic moonroof, your lights, your SOS button, and your rear hatch and a place for your sunglasses. Now we're in the second row of the TRD Pro. The TRD Pro Sequoia comes only as a seven passenger. You cannot get a bench seat in the center row in this model, but again, the red leather is so striking. It looks so cool. You also have red seat belts. I mean, this is so awesome. You usually only see these in like expensive sports cars. So very cool to see red seat belts in a Toyota Sequoia. Now let's take a look at these floor mats. These are really cool, very rugged looking. Uh, in the center, we have a traditional USB and a USB-C port, as well as a 120 volt plug. There is also climate control for the back seats, rear air vents, and there's no heated seats for the second row uh, in the TRD Pro, but there is in the other models like the Platinum and the Capstone. Two cup holders here that the second row and the first row can access. There are I believe 14 cup holders. I counted earlier and uh, there are several in the doors and also the third row gets cup holders. So pretty nice. Everybody has a place for their drinks. It's pretty convenient. Now the second row seats are fixed. They do not slide. So in order to access the third row, you tumble the seat forward. So let me show you how that's done. It's just a simple handle right here on the side. There it goes, tumbles forward and you can climb on in. So I'm in the third row of the Toyota Sequoia. Feeling pretty good, feeling comfortable. I am 5'7". Oh, I don't have too much headroom if I'm sitting up really high, but if I'm sitting back, I still have maybe three inches or so. I feel comfortable. I've got a place for my arm here. I've got two cup holders here. I've got a USB port. I even have sunshade. So all of this is in the third row of the TRD Pro, so it's still really well equipped if you're gonna take a lot of people with you on your adventures. It's super easy to get out of the third row. All you do is pull this red tab and you're free. Here is what you're looking at for cargo capacity for the Toyota Sequoia for all of the models. Uh, we have this third row that will slide forward six inches. It's really easy, you just grab the handle here, you push it forward, you're giving yourself more cargo capacity, or if you pull it back six inches, you're giving your third row passengers more leg room. Now these third row seats, they do fold down flat and they recline. Unfortunately, since there's no power to this vehicle that I'm looking at today, I'm not able to show you that, but I can show you the cargo shelf. So the cargo shelf will allow you to maximize your cargo pretty much vertically uh, with the space that you do have on the Toyota Sequoia. So there are three different levels that you can place this cargo shelf. The lowest one is pretty narrow. There's not a whole lot you can put there, maybe a laptop bag or a narrow purse. You can move it up to the middle level here, and then you can actually, let's scoot these back a bit so you can see. Now we're gonna, going to utilize our space more vertically here, uh, but if you fold the seats down flat, obviously you're going to have way more cargo space. And here's what it looks like on the highest level. So this is kind of nice because look at all the space you have below the shelf. So if you take this grocery shopping or if you're taking this on a trip, you could probably put some duffel bags down here, some groceries up here, and utilize the space to the best of your ability. Let's talk about the car seat setup. There are car seats that can fit on the outboard captain's chairs, and then there's one car seat that can fit in the center seat of the third row. So you've got three car seats that you can fit on the TRD Pro Sequoia, and you can take the kiddos with you on all of your off-roading adventures. Of course, there's going to be some really good safety features on the Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro, starting with the blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. And check this out, there's a camera right here underneath the side mirror. There are cameras all over the exterior of the Sequoia because this is for your panoramic view monitor. So it can give you an aerial view and a 360 degree rotating view 
of your vehicle while you're driving. I test drove the Sequoia and it was so cool because every time I approached a stop sign or a stoplight, the vehicle automatically turned on the panoramic view monitor and it made driving a really large vehicle, full size SUV like this, a lot easier because I was able to get a good sense of what was around me. Now there's also Toyota Safety Sense. That's Toyota's standard safety package that includes pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure warning with steering assist, dynamic radar cruise control, and so much more that all comes at no extra cost to you and that's standard on every Sequoia. And that was the 2023 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro. Now, if you want more of the Toyota Sequoia and me, Motor City Maggie, check out my other Toyota Sequoia capstone walk around that I will link right here. Thanks so much for watching Motor City Maggie. Make sure you give this video a like and a comment, a nice one, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my automotive content. And until next time, motor on. Bye.